釈。女公爵。女公爵のフォレス・タルダ。俺の,俺の見る限り。At the limit of what I can see. はい。The Lord of the city, the Lord of the town, Aruchi, Kono, Kono Machi no Aruchiwa. The Lord of this city is Onako Shaku no Furos Foresitaru, is Foresitaru the Duchess. Yep, and Midukagiri in this context is being used, you know, like uh, it's like an idiom, so it's like as far as I know, as far as I know, not as far as I can see, but it is saying as far as I can see, Midukagiri, I... the limit of what I can see, but... as far as I know, as far as I can tell, in other words, hi, exactly. Um, ona koshaku wa jibun ga. Uh, gin. Gin in. The verb here is non da uh, or eranda. 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 Gin ki in. Mani, is it ki in or is it gi in? Gi, uh, long e. No glow stop. Gee. Is it gee money or is it key? Ka, gee, ka. sorry. G. G. Gee in. Sorry, I got the rendaku. No. Taske. Taske. Taske o. Taske o. Uh, this one is to borrow. Hi. Tarite. Tarite. Tarite machi o. Osameru. Osameru. To cure, to Good fix. guess. It, in this case, it's to um govern. But it, govern. It, it looks a lot like um naoru and stuff, which does mean um to cure. But osa, osameru is to govern. Osameru. Osameru. Kawa no. The east is to. It can be to. Here it's higashi because the second kanji is pronounced as gawa, which is the single reading of it. Higashi gawa no akebono gai ni aru. Akatsuki goten ni. Sunde iru. Hi. Okay, so Onna Koshaku wa Jibunga, the Duchess, by herself, herself, not by herself, but she herself, um, Eranda gi in no taske o tarite machi o. It might be easier to start with karidu. What does karidu mean? Karite is to with the help of. Yeah. Um, taske o karidu means to rely on because karidu is to borrow and taske means help. So when you borrow help, that means to rely on somebody. Whose help is she um borrowing? So she is relying on the gi in the member. Hi. Which members? Her she herself chosen. Hi. And what did she do with that power she borrowed? She osame. Mm. 
the Machio, Machio Osame. Govern the city. Hi. And where does she soon that it? Sisunderu ni sisunderu at Akatsuki goten ni at the Akatsuki goten at the Dawn Palace or the Dawn the Dawn Palace is it that where is it money Yep Akatsuki goten Dawn Palace the Dawn the Dawn Mansions it, it's more like palace and mansion Palace the goten because yeah, Yashiki is the mansion. Goten is more like palace. Goten. And that Goten is located Kawa no Higashigawa no on the eastern side of the river at Hi. the Akebonogai. Perfect. Akebonogai is the Akebono. The district Guy is a district. Hi. Akebono is is also Don, is it? Yep, the, it is uh, also Don. Also the Don. Hi. Um Akebono Guy Ni at the Don district. Uh Niwa. Ze Itakuna. So here, na mark the na adjective. Yeah, which is zeitaku, which means luxurious. Luxurious. Hi. You know how to say the word. <laughs> zeitaku na yashiki. Here we're saying yashiki. Hi. Mansions. Hi. To. Kin. Mochi no. In this case, it'd be pronounced as kane, but that's a keen would make logical sense, but it's kane mochi. Kane mochi no. And here it's sujin. Sujin. Those who live. Residents. Right. Sujin to. Ripana. It's actually pronounced as junin. I know, I always get it confused too, because it's, it's too similar to shopping or owner so shop owner is choosing but junin is the res resident money so is the same kanji right of sumo oh, no i mean the owner oh uh, the... no owner doesn't have the hito kanji in the first one so if i say um shujin, you see right here it um doesn't have this guy right there so uh, this no, is the owner no, no. and you add the little human radical that makes it into dweller hi so shujin shujin is the owner of the shop hi from the previous chapter that we read hi here is resident of the of the district hi. so is shunin junin junin the other one is shujin yeah shujin and junin junin Junin, it's long. Junin, residence. To, ripana. Again, ripana is an adjective. So, Hai. ripana, mise, right? It's a store. Ripa so, is like splendid. So, a splendid store. Nice splendid store. stores. Ga, atsumari, gather. Right, Mani? Atsu? Yep. Atsumari. So here, this clause say that the Don District Hi. at the Don District they're, ex they're gathered luxurious uh, mansions with the resident the Junin who what possesses kind of residence? Kanemochi. Wealth. Possess wealth. Um, and Ripanamise. 
I'm Ripana, like gorgeous. Sure, yeah. Uh, stores. They all gather. Uh-huh. At Akebo no Gai. Right. Second clause. Machutsi Tachi ga Maho de Utsutsu Utsuku 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 You're saying Utsu but uh, like tsunami. Tsuku, utsuku. Utsuku. Hi. Utsuku. Utsuku. Matinami. Matinami. To o. Sukate iru. So this clause say that the magicians. They create, they sukateru, are creating machinami, which is the, the basically the how the city looks like when you look at it. Specifically, it normally refers to like um the silhouette kind of of the machi, but it's like uh it's the basically what the city looks like. Right. Which is why the Don District, you know, has the rich the people, machi. the nice mansions, and the nice um, the stores. Machi. And then Matinami is specifically described as Utsushi. Hai, beautiful. Utsukushi. Hai. Beautiful. And yeah. what is um to create in Japanese? Suka? Sukaru? Yeah, it's actually tsuku. Tsukuru. Tsukuru. Tsuka, you're thinking of, comes from tsukau. Which is to use. Tsukuru, tsukau. They have very similar kanji, but you got the meaning right. It's tsukuru to create. Tsukau, let's see, kanji is kind of like familiar. Both have that hito in the right corner. Tsukau is to use. So that's where you're getting that ka from. But it's tsukuru. Like, utsukushi no tsukuru. Tsukuteru. The magician creating the the silhouettes beautiful, Hi. but here they do, they does not use kire. Hi, using utsukushi. Ordinary beautiful, but utsukushi, which was more than beautiful, it's, it's gorgeous. Kire as the word beautiful means clean as well, because clean things right. are beautiful. Which utsukushi just means like beautiful, so it's beautiful. definitely more pretty than kire. Hi. And they did this using Maho De Hi. with the use of magic. Next sentence. Ona ko shaku no dokubo ni. Uti ko mare da. Kuna kereba. Ore mitai na yatsua haru mai. Uh, should be hiruma, I think. Yeah, hiruma. Hiruma no akebo no te gai. Akebo no gai niwa. Ikanai Hogai. Hey, looks like this one's a little bit of a hard one for you. Do you know what um Reba tells us? This one say nakereba. So so. If we were not to. Hi. So if you do not um butchkomare taku nai. Uchi is to hit. Hi. Um, in this context, it actually means to throw into, but you are correct in that um, buti, buti komu, 
um, if it has this kanji right here, which means to hit the boot. But buchikomu basically means more like to throw in somewhere, like very aggressively. And here is mareta. It's a passive. Hi. Yep, describing the topic of the sentence, which is yatsu. Yatsu. What does yeah. dokubo mean? Bo from dorobo. Sadly, no. no. Bo from dorobo is actually a pull. Um, dokubo with doku for single and bo from I have no idea what, probably some kind of gel word, is a cell. Specifically, so like one cell. Um, like a cell that you have all to yourself. So you don't share your cell with other people in a doku bo. To throw into a cell. Hi. Which cells would they be thrown into? Oremi. Which cell? Oh. Onash koshaku. Hi. So if you don't want to be thrown inside of one of the Duchess's cell, what do you think you should do? Oremai. Oh, we should. Ikanai. Hogai, do not go. Hogai is a recommendation. Hi, because remember the previous clause was if you do not want to be thrown inside of the Duchess's shell, so you want to give them the advice, you should, right? You should, Hogai, not go. Not go oh. where? Um, we are talking about Akebono Gai. Hi. You should wow. not go to Akebono no Gai. Garden. Specifically, when in Akebono Gai? Irumano. During the day. Irumano. And then before that, he say, Ore mitai. Nayatsu wa. Those who look like me. Hi. Oh. Huh. So what does he mean by that? His appearance is that... What do you think he's wearing right now? He's... You know, this book hasn't described his appearance all that well. All we know is that he's barefooted. He is barefoot. Yeah, that, that's probably the most important one. Uh, yeah. So people who are barefoot, as in people who look poor, right? Right. Or who looked like oh, a thief. they were describing this whole place as being filled with riches and wealth. Hi. And he is poor. So he's thinking that he would be thrown Hi. into a Duchess cells if he go to Okebono Gai. Hi, because he'd look suspicious. He would stick out and look like someone that's going to steal everybody's money. Hi. And then Kawa no Ishigawa. Right, Moni? Ishi uh -huh. is the west. Nishi. Nishigawa wa. On the western side of the river. Tasogare gai da. Is the twilight district. Right. On the west bank. Okay. So now it's. Okiku. Here, the adjective o ki is changed to o ki ku. Right. Meaning is this, why does it change to ku instead of What do you e? think it's, so ku versus e tells us what o ki modifies. E makes o ki into something called an adjective, which means it describes nouns. What do you think verbs that end with, I mean, adjectives that end with ku describe? So I'm guessing verbs and yes. other adjectives, right, Mani? We'll, we'll, I suppose you want to have two adjectives, yep. like big and beautiful, then you have to Hi. turn it to ku and then another adjectives. Exactly. Yep. So that means okiku is describing magatta, which um, in English, Feels a little bit adjective-y, but here it is a verb. Magatta. Magatta. You know what magaru means? Magaru is to, to make a bend. 
Ay, to be bent. Curve. So it is the river that curve. Kawa. Ay. So we have a river that is bent. Okiku. So there's a big bent in this river. Big bent. At the big bent of the river. Ni. We have a verb that with the kanji to surround. Hi. Kaku. Kakumareru. Kaku. Kaku. Mareru. Yona. Now we have yona modifying a following noun. Hi. Yes, she got that. Good guess. This is ka ta chi. You had all the. Yeah, you knew it was three sounds long. Tachi. Katachi. Right. So, uh, cool. what does katachi o shiteite mean? It produced the shape. It is doing the shape. Looks. So, in other words, it is in the shape of. What are they talking about here? What is our subject of the sentence? It's not in the sentence. So, you'd have, I mean, it is in the sentence, but it's somewhere. It's not in the sentence. Is we are talking about the kawa. Good guess, but no, kawa is marked by ni. Oh, wait. Oh, kawa. Yeah. kawa is doing something. What is the subject of the sentence, like in general? It's tasogare right. gai, which was mentioned in the previous sentence. So I guess it's the the twilight district is the subject of this paragraph. We're talking about the twilight district. What is the twilight district doing? Is a large ben that kakumareru. No, the kawa is doing that. What is tasogare gai doing? Katachi. Hai. Tasukara dai is doing the shape. <laughs> or um, in English, you just say is in the shape of. We we don't say is doing the shape, but that's what it literally says. Tasukara dai is doing the shape. And then it goes on to describe what kind of shape it is. It is a shape that is like it is being kakumareru. What, is that, what does that mean, do you think? So it's mareru is a passive verb. It is. Acted on, so surrounded by something else. Surrounded. And the by is marked by ni. Surrounded Hi. by kawa. Hi. Kawa ni kakumareru. So I've just drawn what would happen if a kawa kakumareru's tasogare gai. Why do you think yoni was used here since I've drawn a picture of what kakumareru if it was just so we use yoni when we are describing a an observe. Um, it's an observation. In other words, it is not an opinion. True, but what's, right, there's something wrong with the picture of Tasugara guy I just drew. So it's 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 similar to it's not the exact it's not uh ni yes. ni te hi because what's going on is that the river does not fully surround the twilight district. This is what's going on here. There is a large bend in the river that is almost as if it's surrounding um Tatsugara Gai. However, this is what um it would look like if it was surrounding Tatsugara Gai, but instead it looks like this. Because it's not actually surrounding it. It's mostly surrounding it. Does that kind of make sense? Is, is, I recall you taught me three different ways of saying something similar to. Hi. One was dai. The other is yona. And then there's another one, isn't it? Soda. Yes, so. And then there's another one. Soda. And then you Hi. say one was you have an opinion about something like he is so, fast like a rabbit. Yo can be used with that. Um, yo and mitai can be used with opinions. So, um, there's two versions of so. 
one version is um appearance it looks delicious and the other one is um a rumor i've heard the book is good that's the two different souls mitai tends to focus more on physical characteristics and yo tends to focus more on the deeper characteristics of something but in general they are interchangeable um you could say kakamaru mitai katachi and it would still make sense and it really wouldn't really make it any difference um uh they're they're basically the same um perhaps mitai might be more likely to show with nouns but it's like mitai na yatsu the main character is mostly talking about his appearance he looks like a thief he doesn't have shoes on he's probably wearing ratty clothes he doesn't fit in here well yo as i said focus more on the underlining idea of something Mm. Um, which in this specific sentence you could have easily replaced it with mitai and it really wouldn't change anything um because it's it's like a very small insinuation difference which um that means like it doesn't matter <laughs> you know which I... one you use um but yeah uh, those are the three you're thinking of yep but yeah so it... then hi what's up that then he said Akebo no gai yori wa yori haruka haruka is wide kind of haruka is a quantifier it's like a it describes the size of something and it's supposed to be like large so it could be like a long long time ago or in this case it's describing like with nani here see it's an adverb describing the amount of semi-ness the the difference between akebo no gai and our other topic hasogare gai hmm. so there is a large difference between these two ideas and thus we use haruka to let us know there is a gap between these two ideas hi so here it say that the Akebono Gai, the Don District, I is know. a lot. Haruka ni. It's a I lot know. thinner. Is it lot... with Yori? Yes, I'm guessing Yori described that, which is less. Yes, it describes that as less. So that means Akebono Gai is a lot less thinner. Thin. It's a lot less thin, is what it's saying. So the Don district is a lot less thin than Twilight. So which one is mm -hmm. bigger, Twilight or Dawn? Dawn is a lot less thin than Twilight. Dawn is bigger. No. Because it's a lot yes, less you're thin. right. Sorry. I said it right. It's a lot less thin. It's, perfect. it's thin, but not as much as... Tasugare. Tasugare yes. is way more thin. Yep. Tasugare guy is Haruka. way more thin than the Don District. Hi. Do you have any guesses why that might be so? Because of that Ben. Because of oh, the oh. Ka, what's it? Kakumare. Yeah, kakumare do yona katachi. Kakumare do yona. It constrict Tasugare, tasugare guy. Hi. Tasugare guy. Um. Tasogare gai ni wa sefunjo ya koba ya shoku ji. I feel like I got that wrong. All right. So the first one you got wrong was factory, which is um kojo kojo. Another one is soko, but um I didn't feel like warehouse so go like a oh. place where you store food so kojo yasogo my money hi so so go kojo yasogo ga and then to lined up is nabi hi nada narabi narabi arujiwa 
ひぐれのきみだ。ひぐれ、ひぐれのきみだ。So here he s a y with regard to tasso gare gai, save the, the lord, the aruji, Is the Lord of Twilight, but、Hi. what does the word Narabi here mean to line up? Yes, what is lined up in Tasugaregai? So, in Tasugaregai, the Seifunjo, the Kojo, and the Sogo Narabi they lined up. Right. They were, the warehouse,、lying. the factories, and the Seifunjo. I'm guessing the administrative. Good guess.、Um, Seifunjo is a flour mill. This fun right here means powder. So that's the only one that's really important in there. And Jo for place. Seifunjo. Flour mill. Jo for place. So Narabi is just because. There's a lot of buildings in here, and when you line them up all up together, it makes a rabi. It's just like we saw earlier over here when I was talking about the magicians and the Katsuki Goten, they made a、um, Machi Nami Narabi. Right. Which I swear、yeah. right here. Do you know what might be the different connotation when they use Aruji instead of using? Uh, Shu Jin, Shu Jin, the Shu owner. Jin? Well, it's pretty different. Um, Aruji is like more obnoxious. Uh, uh like the, the, the Shu Jin, remember, was just like a random ass innkeeper. This is the Lord of Twilight. He's he's <laughs> he's the master of um. All these things.、Uh, like, Aruji is like a more mean, dramatic word. o n e just means you own something, right? right. You own the inn, you own the, the, shaku, the, the dining hall. But、right. he's not just an owner, he's lorded over it. Exactly. That, that means that everything in there is his slaves. So, so. All right. So, I'm going to stop sharing because we're at halfway point. So, I'll see you in five seconds.